Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. I swear one day I will do a video on Instagram post which doesn't involve me playing with my hair. But welcome back to the channel, it's not been that long actually this time because we did vlog recently with Tyler. Um, but yes, welcome back, leave me alone, I am trying to make a YouTube video. Welcome back to a new video, today um, we're kind of answering a popular question um, that everybody keeps asking me on stream is uh, my gaming setup. Um, I've been kind of procrastinating and, and not doing this video for a long time. Um, I filmed it probably three or four times and gone, nah, I don't like it. Um, so we're just going to do it. Uh, apologies um, for probably some of the quality. Uh, it's not going to be uh, as amazing as I hoped it would be. Um, I was going to get someone in to like do an MTV clip, like, welcome to my crib. Uh, this is the gaming PC down here and this is the microphone down here. Uh, it would just turn out that that was not going to happen. Um, but, yeah, amazingly, also, if you guys fancy copying some new watches, here, like this one, uh, link down below, there's a lot of links that are going to be down below today, the link down below for Capitola watches, uh, if you use code RYAN15, uh, you get 15% off, so... And they're all going to be pretty cheap anyway, they're only like 40 euros, so 15% of that is a number. Um, so just cop them. Anyway, we're going to get into the gaming setup. Um, we're not going to waste much time on this intro. If you haven't already, um, go away, man! If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ding down the little notification bell because it does really help to support me. Um, yeah, let's get into the video. So, my gaming setup. Right, a couple of points to note. Um, cable management isn't my thing, okay? I can't do cable management. So before we actually get into the gaming setup, don't judge me, okay? It needs to be sorted. I know there's an issue there. It will be sorted one day. Uh, yes, there's been four months of lockdown to sort it out, but yeah, anyway. Um, and we're going to be upgrading some things very soon. So we'll maybe make an update. But let's get into the actual setup again. Setup. Setup time. So let's start off left to the right, then we'll go underneath. On our left hand side, I have a nice big softbox light. Um, yes, it should be aimed at 45 degrees, but because it's so close, um, it just kind of lights up this side of the room. That's kind of the idea behind it anyway. Um, there was no point in me like towing up and getting up on, on here on the ceiling um, because it just wouldn't do anything. Um, going down from under there, these are really important actually. This was Abigail's. Um, don't dream your life, live your dreams, which is kind of cool. Uh, also my half mile for metal. Um, and then moving on, we have my camera, uh, my webcam that I record uh, or I stream with, uh, which is a Logitech C920. Um, nice little bit of kit, to be honest. I've never had an issue with it. Um, it's pretty much your standard um, streaming camera. Everybody seems to use them. Um, then moving over to brighten that up a little bit. Moving over to the tripod, I do have my camera on a tripod. It's at a bit of an angle. Some people don't like it. Some people do. I am much more of an angle kind of guy. I don't like having my webcam right above me here. I just think that it looks um, too normal almost. Uh, I, I don't. I just, either way, I just don't like it. I like having a bit of an angle and having a bit of height on me. Um, so I use two headsets. Uh, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling uh, on the day. So I have my Razer. I think it's a Razer Electra. Uh, don't quote me on that. Razer Electra headset V2. Um, really, really nice bit of kit. I'll tell you why I don't always use it. Let me pop it down on here. T Please don't start playing something random. So I'll tell you why I don't always use it because this has very rubbery um, and very soft ear pads. Um, it's probably got better sound than my Turtle Beaches, which are these up here. I think they're Turtle Beach. The next one's up from X12s. They're reasonably old. They're for Xbox, but they work for PC. Um, so looking at these differently and then looking at them right next to each other. So this one um, has a much more solid kind of like um, fabric around the ears rather than this one which is rubber. So wearing glasses, that uh, tends to rub on me quite a lot, whereas these don't, they're a little bit firmer. So whenever I'm playing for a prolonged amount of time, or whenever I just feel like wearing um, something that's a bit more sturdy, I'll wear these, but for better sound quality, I go with the razors. So the keyboard that I'm using is a Razer Black Widow V1, the old one. It's about seven years old at this point. I am looking at getting the Razer Huntsman Mini. Um, I like having a big keyboard. I like having the key, uh, the key number, the number pad on the right hand side. I like having the arrow keys, but 
I could keep this and use this for like so businessy work, like doing Excel and stuff like that, um, and anything like the number pad is useful for. But then um, having a smaller one, so I think it's a sixty percent. Um, it just means that it cuts off here rather than starting here, so it'll be a lot smaller. It won't have the macros on the side as well. Macros are quite useful. Um, I haven't got them programmed at the moment, but I have had them programmed to um, like start doing different things, so open up Google Chrome and go to my Twitch channel and blah, 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 blah. Uh, we have a glass of water, always very important. Glasses of water. Um, you need to keep hydrated when you're streaming. Um, moving over to the right, we have the Razer Death Adder Elite V2. Um, I think it's the newest Razer Death Adder. Um, I, I copped it uh, a couple of months ago, actually. Um, it has the DPI buttons on the top, which is really, really useful. Um, and also a little bit of a downfall, because sometimes I accidentally hit my DPI button while I'm in the middle of a firefight, and then I'm on 400 DPI. And I am not a an arm gamer, I'm a wish gamer. And here we have, I think this is a Razer Goliathus. Um, little uh, mouse pad I want a bigger one but as you can see we have kind of like some kind of um, issues with this being in the way and that kind of being on a slant at that point so I want to kind of just get the whole of my desk made into a mouse mat that would be pretty cool moving on over onto my microphone and my mic arm my mic arm is a newer um, which is the brand um, mic arm I got it off of Amazon pretty cheap uh, it does a job um, I'm thinking about upgrading to a road one pretty soon but it, like I said it does a job the Razer Silent Elite. The Razer Silent Elite. What a microphone. I think potentially the best um, the best microphone that I've ever used, for sure. Um, but 100% the best USB microphone I think that you could buy for money at the moment. Um, it has a high pass filter. I did actually film a review on this when I had my photography studio back in the day. Never uploaded it. Uh, it has a high pass filter. It's a uh, single dynamic capsule microphone, so it only, like, you, the, the best audio quality is going to come from the top. You, you won't hear very well if you are speaking from behind or from the side. Really, really good quality. Also means that, like, when I have a fan on in the background, you don't really hear it very much. If you hear it on the stream, you hear it very slightly. But, like, my parents talking downstairs, like, you can't hear that when they're shouting at each other because they do that a lot. Um, my desk, my desk is just from Ikea. It was like 20 quid. It's just a basic Ikea desk. Moving on to monitors, uh, left hand side is a Samsung. I don't know the make and model. Um, again, it's reasonably old. It's a 120 hertz monitor, so uh, not amazing for playing FPS games, not play amazing for playing um, a lot of shooter games, uh, but it works for me. It's one millisecond response time as well. Um, and it also has DVI, DPR, uh, DVI, DP and HDMI ports, uh, which is useful um, because you need to use, I think you need to use DPI um, to kind of get this all the way up to um, 120 hertz, which we had an issue about that on Valorant, but Graham actually, Grazer, um, managed to sort that out for me. But yeah, this one is my main monitor. This is where I game from, hence why the camera is up here. And on the right hand side, I have my um, Acer, I, I, again, I, I don't know. Um, I think it's two millisecond response time, so it isn't that bad. I don't game on it, um, but it's only 60 hertz. Um, but again, it's more of a um, chat reading and OBS having monitor rather than anything else I don't usually do. And you can actually see the quality difference um, between the Samsung, which is a curved monitor as well, which was a mistake that I made. I don't dislike curved monitors, but I think when I get a new monitor, it's definitely going to be totally flat screen. Uh, whereas this one is just a normal, both 24 inch by the way, I think 24 inch is perfect. I think if you go any higher than 24 inch, um, you start losing um, the ability to see the whole screen whilst keeping your head in one place. Um, speakers in the back are Logitech. Um, they also have a subwoofer which is down here and we'll go on to down there now. So, the underneath, again, like I said, don't judge my cable management. Yeah, it's it's an organised mess. I know what's going on. Uh, in here, custom built PC needs a little bit of a dust. I understand that. Custom built PC by myself and actually my dad. My dad didn't help as much with this one though, so I'm quite proud of myself. So in here we have um, starting from the top an Asus Free uh, Z Three Ninety E motherboard. Um, I did buy a Maximus Hero Eleven, um, but I think I broke it. Um, I don't know how, but I broke it. Um, 
We also have an Intel i9-9900K processor, which I think is running at 3.6 gigahertz, uh, and it can be overclocked, but I'm not going to overclock it. We also have um, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, obviously, I'm a video editor, so it's good to have a lot of RAM in there. Uh, so we've got the 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM, um, which I had some issues with um, previously, where it was only running at 2400 megahertz. Um, but I managed to sort that out because I'm smart. We also have the RTX 2080 Ti 11 gigabyte um, graphics card in there. Just a gorgeous card. Uh, it really is very, very powerful. Um, and I love it. I do. I love it. Um, we have a Corsair CX750 um, power supply unit, perfectly ample for everything I've got in there. I was going to go with an 850, um, and I know people who have gone with like 1000s and 1050s. I just don't think it's necessary um, when it works perfectly fine with a 750. Uh, I have a 256 gig SSD and a 4 terabyte mass storage hard drive in there, which I actually need to upgrade both of. Um, probably to a one terabyte M.2 um, and um, uh, maybe 500 gig SSD and then an eight terabyte hard drive. I need to start deleting my footage. I get that. Um, I also have a H115i um, cooling unit, so it's water cooled, um, which is kind of important because both the RTX 2080 and the i9 run really, really hot. So having water cooling in there is is always decent. I have three fans on the front, three fans there, uh, one fan at the back as well, and obviously three fans on the graphics card, and the fan on the process, uh, the the power supply unit. And then I was going to put more fans at the top, but it just doesn't fit because everything. I, I probably need a bit of a bigger case. Um, I think it's a cool link case or cool something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. I will list everything in the description so you guys um, can kind of see um, where I got it from um, and like just kind of how much it is. This PC in total probably worth about two and a half grand. I think it's one of the best PCs that you could make um, if you were trying to build one. Oh. And then obviously we have our chair as well. Uh, it was £60 from Argos. Um, it works for what I needed it for. I didn't really um, want to spend £300 on a Secret Labs chair or a DX Racer chair. So if anybody wants to give me one to review, uh, perfect, do that for me right now. Um, it, doesn't ha it doesn't go all the way up to my head, so when I'm sat in it, It doesn't go um, all the way up to my neck, so my microphone is pointing this way, so I'm just trying to kind of do this quickly. I've been putting off this video, I'll explain it in the end, I've been putting off this video for a while and I just want to get it done, so apologies. We also have some sound panels, some um, acoustic foam, I believe is the um, proper term for it. You can see how there's some holes in between it here, so just here, um, it's kind of falling off, which is not good, we don't like that. That is not something that we love. Um, so red and black obviously representing the colour and the patch which you can get, uh, go to my discord, um, I'll leave a link in the top of the description um, and you can register your interest for one there and I will DM you and you can PayPal me because I don't have a website that does, I have a website but I don't have a website that does um, e-commerce and I don't really want to set one up or pay for one so <laughs> you just PayPal me. Um, so yeah these, I think these are 24 um, I got them from Amazon, and this is actually probably the one thing that I get asked the most, is where did I get them from? I got them from Amazon. Um, I think they were about £30 for 24 of them. You could get 48 for like 60 quid. Um, I didn't see that I needed any more, but I might get some more just to put down here. Um, they actually do work. So the issue with having posters up, which is what I always used to have, is um, it gets very... They fall down a lot, basically. Whereas in the corner here now... Um, sound bounces back from these acoustic panels and it makes it sound nice, it makes it sound a lot less echoey because actually I don't have anything on my walls other than these. So, yeah. So, that is the gaming setup. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, it wasn't going to be the best video you've ever seen in your life. It's just kind of something to um, maybe fill the gap as it were, but also um, I was going to hire someone 
uh, or get a friend in, or, or my mum in, to um, do kind of like an MTV style of Hello and welcome to my crib today! Well this is our PC down here! We are running the RTX 2080 Ti with the i9 9900K! Uh, and we got the monitors here, we got the headsets right here, we got the Michael Muffet telephone, we got the... Yeah, so I thought, oh, we're probably not going to do that, we're going to keep the energy kind of like a professional um, fun still, but professional level quality um, and enthusiasm. But if you guys want to see a video like that, then, uh, you know, drop a like and we'll do like a kind of MTV Cribs style uh, video of this. Um, but it's kind of my first time finishing this video, I've done this video so many times um, and it's just never worked like I've looked at it and gone oh, I don't like that oh I don't want to do that oh I want to do it again so this was all one take so um, thank you very much for watching like I said at the beginning of the video if you do want to copy yourself some nice watches from Capitola watches um, they do have a great selection they're also reasonably cheap um, I think most of them are like around the 40 50 euro mark and if you use the code Ryan 15 uh, you get 15% off so that's a, a, a good number of of money off. Um, I don't know how much that is. My maths, my maths brain's going on, really getting old. You know, 22 is a new 60, as they say. Uh, but if you guys also haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. Ding dong that little notification bell because it does really help support me. Um, and also, um, make sure you comment down below, tell me what you want to see next because I want to make more videos like this. I've stood up, just kind of talking to you guys. I love vlogging, but I also love doing videos like this. I was going to do like an embarrassing Tinder stories, uh, embarrassing school stories and stuff like that. Just kind of, um, you guys getting to know my life a little bit. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love your faces. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video for more fun. Was that recording? No, I wasn't recording. I've literally just gone to stop recording and it started recording. I'm a bot, man. <laughs>